from the Bunny's Nutshell Library by Robert Krauss. The First Robin Spring was a little late, and Richard was a little early. Kachoo! he sneezed. Bless you, said kindly Groundhog, who was looking for his shadow. Thank you, said Richard, and he sneezed again. That's a wicked sneeze, said kindly Groundhog. Come inside, and I'll take your temperature. Kachoo! sneezed Richard. Kindly Groundhog wrapped Richard in a warm blanket and filled a tub with hot water for Richard to soak his feet in. Then he shook down his thermometer and popped it into Richard's chattering beak. Exactly three minutes later, he took it out. Richard's temperature was 102 degrees. If symptoms persist, call your friendly doctor, said Kindly Groundhog. Dr. Wisegray! Dr. Wisegray! Kindly Groundhog called across the meadow. Dr. Wisegray came running. Dr. Wisegray listened to Richard's heart with his stethoscope. Hmm, he said. It goes boom, putty, boom, putty, boom, boom, boom. Rather a nice beat. And he did a little dance. And he sang this little song. Rest, rest, rest is best, best, best. Oh, put this little bird to bed, a pillow deed his head, and rest his temperature. He has a common cold, for which, so I've been told, there is no cure. Then he danced out, humming, boom, putty, boom, putty, boom, boom, boom. Kindly Groundhog tucked Richard in his own bed and gave him a big handkerchief to sneeze into, so as not to spread germs. Then, to pass the time, he cast shadows on the wall. He cast a shadow of a crocus growing and a daffodil blowing. He cast a shadow of a raindrop dropping and a rabbit hopping. Then there was a beating of wings on the front door. Good heavens, said Kindly Groundhog. Who could be calling at this hour? It was Mrs. Robin. Excuse me, sir, for disturbing you at this hour, she said. But I saw your light was still on, and I had just flown in from the warm country looking for my son, who flew away, hoping to be the first robin of spring. Then Mrs. Robin saw Richard, and they flew into each other's wings. Kachoo! sneezed Richard happily. Richard's mother opened her purse and took out a large bottle of medicine, which she handed to kindly Groundhog, asking him to please shake it well. Then she took out three silver teaspoons and placed them neatly on the bedside table. One by one, she filled the teaspoons with medicine, and one by one, she gave them to Richard, who made an awful face after each spoonful, and three awful faces in all. Would it inconvenient you if I remained at Richard's bedside tonight? Mrs. Robin asked. Not at all, said kindly Groundhog. In fact, I insist. Just settle yourself and I'll make you a nice cup of tea. Please don't fuss, said Mrs. Robin. I'm not fussing said kindly Groundhog, putting on the kettle. So all through the night, Richard's mother remained at his bedside, and every four hours she gave him his three teaspoons of medicine. In between times, she sang him songs, sweet as any nightingales. At dawn, Richard got out of bed. He went outside and saw a crocus growing and a daffodil blowing. He saw a raindrop dropping and a rabbit hopping. It was spring, and he was the first robin. The end.